Hi, I'm Steve Shaver. I'm one of the service trainers here at Max, the Mobile Air Conditioning Society. And today we're going to talk about receiver dryers. Uh, those of you that follow the Max blog on WordPress know that we have uh, several postings of articles that we've written for, uh, talking about receiver dryers. And uh, we actually get quite a few comments about them. We get comments about just exactly what is a receiver dryer, what does it do, how does it function, uh, along with questions from consumers, particularly why do I have to get a receiver dryer replaced when I get service done to my AC system? So that's what we're going to talk about today in this video. And here I have three different receiver dryers. I have two standalone dryers over here and I have one that's integrated into a condenser. So first we'll just take a look at one and see what it is. So this are, I have these two are cutaway receiver dryers and that's it. It's an empty can. Um, all that the receiver dryer does is two things, which is what it's named for, receiving and drying. So how it functions is refrigerant flows from the condenser into the receiver dryer in a liquid form. So it comes in on one port and it'll go through these filter screens and then it will fill up about half of the can with liquid refrigerant. And then it goes back up through this filter screen, through the tube and out this line onto the rest of the system. And uh, so that's the receiver function of it. The dryer function comes from the bag of desiccant that's in here. Now I've taken the desiccant out of this one and I put it in the bag, which I'm going to show you in a second. But on this dryer, uh, I've left it intact. So this is what the desiccant bag looks like. And you can see it's a little bit black there from the refrigerant flowing down through, through the desiccant bag before it sits in the bottom of the can to then get sucked up the tube and go on. So what does the desiccant do? Well, this is where the question that consumers ask about why do I have to have a new receiver dryer installed when I have service done? The reason is because of this desiccant. And this is the dryer function of the receiver dryer. Uh, what it does is when the system is first assembled and first installed, um, you want to make sure that you have no moisture in the system. But there's always going to be that tiny, tiny little amount. The problem is that if any moisture or water is in the system, it's going to combine with the refrigerant and it's going to form a caustic. And then as that flows through the system, it's going to damage a lot of parts. We don't want that to happen. So that's what the job of the desiccant is, is to absorb any moisture that's in the system. So what's inside this little pouch here is the actual desiccant beads themselves, which I've put in this plastic bag so we can actually see them. And here are the little desiccant beads. Okay, so we have the three receiver dryers, the two standalones, and the, this one here is an integrated receiver dryer where the dryer is actually part of the condenser assembly. So if you were gonna have this receiver dryer replaced, you would also be having the condenser replaced and vice versa because it is uh, an integrated unit and they're not separate items. Um, so let's take for example a situation where a vehicle is involved in an accident and there's been damage done to the AC system, which is very common on uh, front end collisions. Uh, you'll have a car accident and the AC system will be damaged, the refrigerant will leak out, and now you have an open refrigerant system that's exposed to the atmosphere. And then what happens is, over time, over the next few days, when the vehicle is towed to a shop, either a body shop or a repair shop, before the system's actually looked at and actually repaired by somebody, several days have gone by. And in the meantime, this desiccant is exposed to the atmosphere and it's absorbing moisture and absorbing moisture. 
and eventually it gets saturated to the point where it can no longer absorb moisture. So that's why receiver dryers are replaced when major service is done to an AC system. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please contact us at www.maxw.org. Thank you. One footnote about integrated receiver dryers is that sometimes they are serviceable, such as in this unit, where you can replace the desiccant as an individual line item. Now, the advantage to this being that you could replace the desiccant separately without having to replace the entire condenser since this is integrated and you would have to replace it as one complete unit.